So what I did in this video, um, there was an elderly lady there. She said it was cool if I took my camera in and, and videoed this, but I didn't want to sit there and be talking and all that stuff like that while she, cause she was like right there behind me, literally right over to the, uh, let's see, over to the left kind of behind me there in the living area. So I didn't want to be all talking and stuff like that in the video. So I thought I would just kind of tell what I did once I got home here and then play the video. Uh, what it was, it was a repair where a Berber had got snagged or, and um, it pulled a run out probably about four feet. And so what I did, that was a light row and a dark row, light row, dark row, light row, dark row. So what I did, it was actually, a, I think it was a light row that got pulled out. So I couldn't just do away with that and put the two dark rows together. So I actually had to take out an extra row to get the two together. And I could have, since it was on a wood subfloor at this time, I could have stretched it up and stay nailed it and stuff like that. But I wanted to uh, do an example of just how awesome the seamer down now is. So that's the reason why I chose to just stretch it up there and cool it as I done it. And just to show, because the seamer down now only takes 20 seconds. If, if you have watched my other video, the seamer down now challenge you, you'll know that it only takes 20 seconds and the seam is stuck. You don't have to worry about it no more. So that's another reason why I wanted to just demonstrate this on the seamer down now. Um, I've actually done it where I've had to stretch up about two inches and it was on a concrete and um, so I couldn't stain nail it. So I had, like I said, two inches and stretched it and worked the seam with the seamer down now, just like that, kind of stretched it up and done it and stuck it as I was uh, putting the seam together, two inches. So that was a lot more than what I'd done here. But anyway, this is the only other opportunity I've had to do that since then. So I wanted to get a little video of it. So that, that's what happened. I, it was uh, two runs cut out. I stretched it up, cooled it with the seamer down now, stretched it up, cooled it with the seamer down now, stretched it up, cooled it with the seamer down now as, as I was putting the seam together. So, and um, stretching maybe a half inch, two rows, maybe three quarters of an inch, whatever it was there. And it was cool enough as I could just make my iron, it was holding the stretch that I just got with the seamer down now. And I pushed my iron up move the seamer down now and it was already stuck good enough to hold the stretch where I pushed it up here and move over, push it up here, move over and push it up here. And um, it was already holding good enough for the, for the seam there. So I just wanted to make that video. There ain't gonna be no talking in the rest of it because uh, like I said, I didn't wanna be talking and everything with the, with the lady right there behind me. So that's what I did in the video. Now you can just watch and see what's going on.
If you liked my video or if you came to my channel and you uh, found something you helped, hit the subscribe button right over here or right over there. I can't remember, whichever. Anyway, um, don't forget to hit the little notification bell. It brings you uh, all my latest videos as they come out. And um, make sure you hit that like button as well. If you, if you don't mind, that helps put my videos up front there a little bit whenever people are searching for different things and that kind of helps me out. So I would appreciate a like on that and um, thank you for watching.